This is 40 volts going through a 12 volt relay and 24 volt motor at the end. Let's go. Oh, it popped a wheelie. <laughs> All right, so if you want it fast, I think we got you covered. Everyone, welcome back to DIY with Dewey. So we tested the scooter with one DeWalt battery and 8.9 miles per hour is not fast enough. So we're gonna go ahead and increase it to two DeWalt batteries. So we have another DeWalt battery adapter and we're gonna install this on here as well. So I don't have a, a larger voltage relay. The one that we're, we have in there is a 12 volt relay from a car. It's an automotive relay. They sell 24 volt relays as well, but I just don't have one on hand to test out. So I'm gonna go ahead and push 40 volts through the 12 volt relay and let's see what happens. So we're gonna mount this battery pack on the other side, right here. So these two wires have to go in and they have to be wired in series in order to increase the voltage. So we'll have to undo this again. We're gonna run out of space on here. Too many wires going through. Lift this cover up. Grommet. So these are self tapping screws. So we're gonna add these wires through. So we have to remove the positive and negative. We're gonna wire it in series. So to wire this in series, we need to connect the positive with negative. this little relay, 12 volt relay. Uh, yeah, I don't know how much it's really gonna handle. It might melt, but let's go ahead and try it. If it melts, it's not a big deal. We have more of them. I can always switch it up or get a larger voltage. 
relay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is let's go ahead and disconnect this. So this positive needs to attach to this negative right here. Like that. So that will give us our 40 volts. So let's go ahead and change this to a male adapter. Okay, so now we're gonna connect this. There. So now we should get 40 volts. Um, do this at your own risk. <laughs> I don't really know what's gonna happen. It should, it should be okay, but. Okay, two batteries. Turn the power on. Let's see how much voltage we have coming through. Okay, so we have so this is the positive nineteen point nine volts right there. Let's test the other side. So positive, positive negative twenty one point six. So now we look, test both of them. So positive. And negative 41.3 volts so that means there's 40 it's pushing a lot through this little relay all right so now we have 40 volts going through this we don't know what's really going to happen to this 12 volt relay so let's go ahead and test it i'm going to give it some throttle Not sure there's smoke coming from that or if it's just a glare. Right, let's turn off the power and we're gonna see how hot this thing is. Oh, all right. It seems okay. <laughs> This is kind of sketchy, so just be careful. Let me see if it's burning out or anything. All right, it looks fine. All the power is off. Let's go ahead and tape this up and then we'll go, go for a test ride. All the power is off. Let's go ahead and wrap these back up. So we want these wires going through that grommet as well. That's a lot of wires going through there.
try. Let's see if we can at least get some of this threads in. All right, there, that's holding low. We just don't want too many wires shifting around. So, moment of truth, this is 40 volts going through a 12 volt relay and 24 volt motor at the end. Let's go. Oh, it popped a wheelie. <laughs> All right, so if you want it fast, I think we got you covered. The throttle got stuck from the seized up relay and my daughter couldn't stop giving throttle so she jumped off she thought it was funny and hilarious that the scooter flew away from her but she was a good sport about it and she wants me to fix it and get it running <laughs> 